Welcome everybody. Today we're going to start a new project of supercharging, uh, not just supercharging, electric supercharging my car. I have a 1600cc, yes I know that's small to some of you, um, but you can take whatever I'm going to be doing here and multiply it by a thousand because you have huge engine sizes. I'll be supercharging my 1600cc 2006 Suzuki Swift. Uh, we'll be doing that because it doesn't make a lot of horsepower and it would be a lot more fun if it made a lot more. So this is a supercharger that I got off of a, a Sea-Doo. I think it's off a 185, could be off a 215, I'm not really sure. But we're going to attach this to my uh, Swift, uh, which is going to be a bit of a challenge because it's got this annoying as curve here. And relative to the size of my car and engine bay, this is pretty jolly huge. But we're going to attach that to my car. Um, we're going to attach an electric motor to it. Uh, this is the electric motor. This is a TP Power 4070 CM at 1400 kV. Uh, it's not actually the right motor for the job, uh, and we'll probably change this. However, this is the motor that I currently have for version, which I bought for version like one of this project. Uh, we're going to attach it to the supercharger, something like that, uh, with an aluminium plate. We'll sort that all out. After that, to power this, we're going to use a ESC. We have a flyer, 400 amp 12S ESC. Um, we'll see how this goes. Uh, so far, the people that have electric turboed their cars and used these ESCs, they have exploded and caught on fire. So I don't know if I'll actually be brave enough to use this in my car, but it is a place to start. One thing I will say is I'm intending to use a lot less than the 400 amps and wind this up slowly to not overload this. So it might be okay. The batteries I'll be using, or the cells, uh, will be these here. I doubt you'll have seen these before because uh, these are very new to the market. These are LTOs. And I'm going to do a whole separate video on why these cells. But these are 6 amp hour, 24 volt, I mean 24, that would be nice, 2.4 volt LTOs. I'm going to run 18 of those for the supercharger. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, we're going to move the battery, because this is going to be too big to fit in with the car battery. We're going to move the car battery to the boot. We'll put these batteries in the boot as well. And we're going to use a boost converter like this to take the 12 volt car and charge these at about 50 volts 48 50 volts when we mash the accelerator it's going to stop charging these cells and it's going to um, power the turbo with these and then when, once that's stopped uh, like at the lights or cruising it's going to then charge these batteries back up again uh, where with the re relocation of the battery, the car battery, I may actually end up with a bunch of these actually in the engine bay instead of relocating these to the boot, because the, uh, one set of these should be enough to start the car, uh, but these are only six amp hours, so that could be a problem with uh, just sitting for a month or however long flattening these. So we may actually have a buck converter to take the power that I've put into the 18 of these back into the what's probably going to be six of these to power the car. I'm going to be doing this via Arduino programming. I'm going to have two of these, most likely one in the engine bay to power the ESC and one in the boot to do all of the charging. Uh, I will be definitely running a proper BMS. Uh, however, I'm, I'm going to do something pretty, hopefully pretty cool about that to reduce the costs. Uh, will all of this work? Theoretically it will work. How well will all of this work? Uh, we'll have to find out. I mean, ideally I'd get 7 PSI, which would be great. Uh, that's going to take about 10 horsepower to put into this via that motor. The, that motor can theoretically deliver uh, 10 horsepower, but it is probably really too small for the job, and we'll change that if that works. Um, if I don't get 7 PSI, I'll be happy. Seven, uh, 5 PSI I'll be happy, probably 3 I'll also be happy with. We're talking about uh, at red line which is 6,500 
is the red line on this car. Uh, so while three may not be that, that much, because it's a supercharger and electric, its boost is not relative to engine RPM at all. So that means that if I'm getting three PSI at red line, I should be getting a lot more lower down in the rev range. And at the end of the day, I'm actually really concerned about getting decent boosts between three, four, five, maybe thousand RPM, because that's where you drive it. Um, you don't drive around uh, dropping the kids off at red line. Bah, 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 bah. No. So I, um, I'm really concerned about that, uh, the lower RPM. So I might get three uh, PSI at 6,000, but if I get seven PSI at three, 4,000, um, which that mass is not going to work like that, but uh, I'll be super happy. Uh, I'm going to do some testing, we'll see how much it flows, and we can uh, see how much boost it's going to make before we actually put it on the car. I have done a bunch of theoretical calculations on how much flow we need uh, and how much power that's going to take. The only thing with this particular situation is that I don't know the specs of the actual compressor wheel, so I can't be 100% sure of that. But we can change the gearing, we can change the batteries, we can change the charges, we can change the ESCs. Um, change, I'm probably not going to change this. Uh, this should be fantastic. So hopefully it'll all come along for the ride. Uh, as you've probably seen on my channel, I've done lots of things, random things like this. They've taken quite a long time. They've turned out to be really awesome in the end, like my Nerf and whatnot. Uh, hopefully you'll come along and support me. This is basically money limited for me because I'm in New Zealand and I have to buy everything in USD. So if you'd love to come along and on the journey, hopefully we won't blow up my car. I will cry if I blow up my car. Um, I don't want to blow up anything actually. We need to work first try. Uh, so join the Patreon if you'd like. Give me a like if you like. If you don't like, give me a like anyway if you don't like the likes. Alright guys, we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.